Scotland. This nation brought the world television, whiskey, and of course, me. Because there comes then a lot of pressure to to keep doing that, you know, to keep doing those things that that may have just been one of those lightning in a bottle moments, you know, when something happens, you know, it, 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 it's the result of a lot of other things. But people then want that element, and it, it, it's 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 confusing as to how to move forward, retaining confidence in yourself. I suppose. I mean. Um, Success like that can can come with a number of pitfalls, you know, but particularly to your creative belief in yourself. I think. Yeah, I mean, I think the the good thing about um, having that kind of success is that it, you know the, the confidence angle is one thing, but um, I think that um, what you were saying about not really knowing where it comes from, I think, is an important thing, and not becoming too self conscious about it. But um, I think also realizing that any kind of success like that is, you know, is kind of paved with kind of trips and down this kind of road of failure so many times, like you know things that you know that haven't worked out, they haven't come to any kind of fruition, or they have, you know, they are, there's also things that you can be quite proud of that nobody else really gives a toss about, like you know, which is a kind of um, it's a much harder thing to take in a way. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I think that. Um, I've always felt about a, you know, some some kind of if you have a big moment, it's just a it's just a kind of um, it's not the real nuts and bolts of what you do. It's just a sort of a fringe benefit. We both, uh, I mean, a lot of the ideas that we have are kind of you know our kind of kind of shared background is really sort of um, the kind of eighties Thatcherite sort of period, kind of coming through that and um, being inspired by that and being kind of. Um, you know, sort of writing against it and you know, like reacting against it in some ways. Um, I mean, do you think that it's, it's like it's that kind of punk sensibility that drove people of you know loosely of our generation? Well, punk was a massive impetus, really. I mean, I, you know, without being too dramatic, I mean, it really did change the world. I mean, um, it, it's difficult for me to sort of think of stuff prior to punk, really, because I was only you know. 12 or 13 I mean I think I, I saw the Ramones play when I was 15 you know and um, the 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 excitement the exhilaration that came hearing that music at, at that sort of formative age I mean I'd, I've been to music all my life you know Bowie and stuff like that was, was when I was really little I loved you know but punk rock really informed who I was I think you know because I, I hated school I, I didn't really feel part of it for whatever reason i don't know why that was but punk gave me something that i i really connected to you know um but i think it had reverberations way beyond just the musical um implications because it really did change attitudes i mean you can still see it now um through fashion everything you know i mean that, and people's attitudes over the years have, have been changed because punk rock gave gave the little man a voice i think you know, I, you know, I remember we was for about five years. There seemed to be this thing about not putting up with any nonsense. If something on the TV was kind of crap and outdated and shabby, people would just mock it and laugh about it and not and just not watch it. And then, so it kind of changed. You know, as you say, it changed everything. It changed advertising. It changed television. Um, and there was this horrible kind of gap between you know from about when punk started to fizzle out, and it was kind of you know, kind of early eighties. It was just practically gone you know the sensibility was still there but it was scared it was a die to death um and it was just kind of you know there was a lot of great music came out of that time from you know particularly from manchester but um there was also like um there was also this kind of sort of real kind of sort of cultural void that uh that kind of lasted until acid house and kind of 88 and you had you know you had this kind of explosion again and uh one of the real sad things now is that, that you know there isn't that kind of kind of cultural explosion. There isn't that kind of thing that um, I mean. There's so much dissatisfaction now, and there's so much kind of um, there's such a kind of cap and all this kind of creativity. There's no kind of outlet for it for a, a bunch of people to get together and say, "Well, this is what um, this is what we should be doing. This is how we should kind of um, we can yeah. we can move ourselves on and we can inspire ourselves in some ways." 